Okay, so I just recorded um, live this track uh, influenced by the Stranger Things soundtrack, but with a bit of Doctor Who thrown in because I wanted to use the theremin with the modular, and I've been exploring that a bit. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly explain some notes about the patch, about how I set things up. So I've got my modular here, and over here I've got my theremin. Um, what I decided to do was both record the direct out of the theremin here and also uh, take the CV and gate outputs here from the theremin and put those into the modular. And I'm, again, I'm using the quarter inch to eighth inch cable so that it makes it easy. Now I've got the CV and gate out going to links uh, because I thought I was going to mult them, but I ended up not doing that. Um, so I just have the uh, the CV out um, coming out from the modular, but it's actually going into the disting here, which is being used as a quantizer. And then that output is going into my anti-oscillator. So what that means is that the theremin is driving the anti-oscillator also. So you're hearing both the natural sound of the theremin and the anti-oscillator, but the anti-oscillator anti is being quantized, meaning instead of a continuously variable pitch, it's being brought into a chromatic scale. And I'll let you hear what that sounds like in a second. The gate output is coming here and um, in here, and that is coming out to trigger peaks for an envelope. I just did a video on using envelopes with filters. This envelope is going into a filter. It's going to the boogie filter. So the filter's cutoff is all the way down low. So it's not going to open until it gets that envelope, which is gated by the theremin. So when theremin volume comes in, it turns on the envelope, that opens the gate. That output, um, the anti-oscillator is being fed into that filter, and then that output is coming out and going into another filter, the polyvox filter. And the reason for that is because um, the theremin has a very uh, thin sound on its own, um, and I wanted to beef that up by both using the anti-oscillator but sending it into the polyvox which has a really thick, gnarly sound. And I've got an LFO coming from my Batumi, a slow LFO that's coming in, and it's slowly uh, opening and closing that filter, so that this is giving us uh, not only a really thick, distorted sound, but it's also slowly changing over time. Uh, then that's going into the Echophone for some delay. That's going into Clouds for a kind of reverb, granular effect. Uh, so let's hear what that sounds like. So... Um, let me just play uh, the sound of the theremin by itself, if I can do that. So, here we go. Okay, let's go over to the theremin. Okay. So that's the sound of the theremin by itself. Now let's hear what uh, the modular sounds like, controlled by the theremin. I'm going to mute the theremin. So, okay, so first of all, you can hear, um, I'm going to turn the delay down, and I'm going to turn clouds off so you get a clearer sound. And first you're going to hear the stepped uh, nature of it, which is um, because uh, it's going through the quantizer. So let's go up here. So you're hearing how this is stopping uh, the filter. You're also hearing how the that's the polyvox filter giving it a really gnarly sound, and you hear how it's changing because that's the LFO. The, the cutoff frequency of the polyvox is being slowly modulated by a slow LFO. So you hear... You, you hear how it's opening it up, and you hear how it's distorted, really gnarly. So when you put... Uh, let's put the theremin... Uh, together, the natural sound of the theremin, together with the modular now. Let's 
Okay, so that's both together. Um, so that's a, a really quick rundown of um, of how I did that. Um, the last thing that I uh, that I almost forgot about is I also had the um, I was also using the Dixie for some low notes. So I was occasionally hitting pressure points. What I've got here is I've got the gate from pressure points going out to maths for an envelope. I also showed that in another video. And that uh, envelope is being sent to the Optimix, which is my VCA. And then here I have uh, different... Um, the knobs turn in different ways, they're tuned, and that is sending uh, one volt per octave pitch information from pressure points to the anti-oscillator. So depending on which pad I play, um, it's playing that note because the pitch is coming out to the anti-oscillator. At the same time, the gate is triggering the envelope and opening the VCA, and you'll see I've got the output of the anti-oscillator coming down into the, into the VCA. Um, so, uh, I also have a slow LFO modulating the, um, the, uh, wave shape of the anti-oscillator so that it's also changing a bit. Um, and then that's going, uh, to, uh, to, uh, reverb to give it, uh, that really big sound in the actual track. So, um, that's the explanation of that patch. Uh, I hope, uh, uh, it made sense and uh, I'm really having a lot of fun using the, uh, theremin with the modular. Uh, for some really cool effects and cool sounds. Thanks for watching. Bye.